Hello, I'm Mrs Freeman and tonight I'm going to be reading you Laura's Star by Klaus Baumgard. So if we're all ready, start. I wish I had a friend, sighed Laura, as she gazed out of her bedroom window. Someone special to share all my secrets with. But for there was no one listening. Only the distant stars that winked and glittered like tiny jewels in the night sky. Suddenly something caught Laura's eye. A streak of silver came whirling and twisting through the darkness towards her. She gasped as it span past her window, so close she could almost touch it. Something wonderful, something magical was happening. Laura quickly put on her dressing gown and slippers and ran down the stairs. Outside on the shadowy pavement was lay a star, fizzing sparks and colours like glittering, like a giant sparkler. You're beautiful, Laura whispered as she tiptoed towards it. A point of the star had broken, snapped off when it hit the ground. Don't worry, Laura told it as she gently carried it back indoors. I'll soon make you better. And up in her bedroom, she managed to stick the little star together again. Later, Laura told the little star all her secrets. And it seemed to sparkle more brightly than ever. As if it were listening. As if it understood. And as Laura drifted off to sleep, she knew she'd found a special friend at last. When Laura woke up the next morning, the space on her pillow was empty. The little star was gone. Laura was desperate. She searched under the quilt and scrabbled through the drawers and cupboards. She climbed high on top of the wardrobe and she crawled low beneath the bed. But it was no good. She couldn't find the little star anywhere. Laura felt cold and empty, as if the light had drained out of her. Surely the wonderful little star hadn't been only a dream. When Laura came home from the playground, Mum and Dad tried their best to cheer her up. How about your favourite jelly, said Dad. Don't you like my funny hat, asked Mum. Laura couldn't answer, couldn't tell them why. She was so sad, her star had gone forever and she hadn't even said goodbye. That night, as Laura climbed wearily to bed, she saw a strange glow flickering from her room. Hardly daring to hope, she pushed the door open. The sudden blaze of light was dazzling. The little star was back, just where she'd left it. Shiny like a thousand diamonds. At first, Laura could only stand and stare. Then suddenly, joyfully, she ran towards it. I know what happened, she cried. Stars only come out at night. You must have been there all the time and I just couldn't see you. I should have known you wouldn't leave without saying goodbye. They played games, did tricks and Laura read it a favourite book. But Laura slowly noticed something. The little star began to feel very cold in her hand as if it were fading away. Laura stroked the little star gently with her fingertips as it grew colder still. She felt the longing in it and suddenly she understood why the little star was dying. Laura chose her four best balloons and carefully tied them to the little star. Be safe, she whispered as she opened the window and let go of the strings and be happy. Slowly the balloons drifted up into the darkness. 
and the little star twinkled as it grew smaller and smaller until at last it joined the other stars in the midnight sky. Laura didn't feel sad anymore. Her star was back where it belonged each and every night when she went to bed she could whisper her secrets into the darkness knowing that her little star was somewhere out there listening.